Extinct animals that came back to life. The New Guinea singing dog is one of the oldest dog breeds in the world. The dog is hundreds of thousands of years old. In the 1970s, these dogs were declared extinct. But 50 years later in 2020, they were found once again in New Guinea. Pygmy tarsiers are tiny and very cute animals. Since 1920, these animals had been declared extinct. But 80 years later in 2000, a scientist in Indonesia found one, proving that pygmy tarsiers are still alive today. The Madagascar serpent eagle is one of the rarest birds in the world. They were said to be extinct for many years, but in 1993 one was found in Madagascar. The woolly mammoth is a massive animal. For many years, scientists believed they'd gone extinct in the Ice Age, but a recent discovery proved they were alive only 4,000 years ago. Animals who became serial killers. This is Gustave, a crocodile from Burundi, East Africa. Gustave is massive, at 20 feet long. He lives in the Ruzizi River. Over the years, he's killed and eaten over 300 people. Experts have no idea why this crocodile hates humans so much. This is Osama the Elephant. In 2004, this elephant went rogue. Over two years, it took 27 human lives. According to experts, Osama knew what he was doing. In 2006, Osama was taken out by police. These animals should not exist. This cat is glowing in the dark. But how is that possible? Well, in 2011, scientists inserted a gene into cats. The gene was a fluorescent protein, taken from jellyfish, which are sometimes fluorescent. The protein, called GFP, was supposed to prevent the cats from catching illnesses, but it had the added effect of making them glow in the dark. This dog, named Faith, only has two legs. Everyone gave up on Faith except her owner. She taught Faith how to walk on two legs, and eventually Faith went on to inspire military veterans, many of which had also lost legs like Faith. This dog was born with double muscles. This is a whippet dog named Wendy. Because of a genetic abnormality, Wendy has double the muscle of a normal dog of her breed, and is also double the normal weight of a whippet dog. This is a giant squid. Giant squids are longer than most boats, and they also have the biggest eye out of any animal in the world. Their eye alone is the same size as a human face. They're also very elusive. Giant squids were caught on camera first in 2009, despite having been around for thousands of years. This is the world's scariest animal. The golden crown flying fox is a human-sized bat. These massive creatures are found in the Philippines. Images of these went viral a few years back. At first, many thought they were fake, but unfortunately these are real. Garials are gigantic reptiles. These scary animals are similar to crocodiles, but they have a much longer snout, and their teeth are far sharper. These are mainly found in India. This is the poodle moth. This insect is found in Venezuela. It's fairly new and was only discovered in 2009. This is a fishing spider. It's called that because this spider eats fish. They're found in lakes and rivers all over the world. Turns out no one is safe from scary spiders, not even fish. Animals that could be aliens. This may look like some kind of alien creature, but it's actually a big-headed turtle. This is a species native to Southeast Asia. They're known for their gigantic heads, which can be very shiny. This is the telescope fish. It can be found 10,000 feet below the ocean surface. They have massive jaws which allow them to eat entire fish in one bite. This is the Antarctic scale worm. The scales on this fish are a golden color. Its body looks very nice and majestic, but take a look at its scary teeth. Animals that can live after death. Alligators live in water, but how do they survive in the winter when water freezes? Well, at just the right moment when the water's about to freeze, they stick their snouts out into the air. They are then frozen solid in the water. This is a process called brumation. When the temperature heats up and the water melts, these alligators come back to life. Alligators are sometimes frozen like this for months. So watch out for alligators next time you're ice skating on a frozen lake. Take a look at this magician bringing a fly back to life. This isn't actually magic, but nature. When flies are frozen, their entire bodies shut down. The warmth
warmth of a human hand will then cause the fly to become unfrozen, effectively bringing it back to life. Take a look at this octopus moving on someone's plate. It's not alive, so how is it moving? Well, most of their nerve cells are in their tentacles, which is why they're responsive to stimuli even without a brain. Animals that live in volcanoes. Some sharks live inside active volcanoes. Researchers in the Philippines were stunned when they found a shark inside an erupting volcano. Sharks have also been found inside underwater volcanoes. These are active volcanoes found in oceans and seas. The happy face spider is a spider that lives inside volcanoes. These spiders look like they have smiling faces on their backs. They can survive incredibly high temperatures and have been found living in volcanoes all over Hawaii. Stingrays have also been found living inside volcanoes. They're commonly found inside volcanoes in Papua New Guinea. Pyrococcus furiosus is known to live inside volcanoes. These are a form of archaea. They can withstand over 200 degrees Celsius. Scariest sea creatures ever. This is the Cetotheria, also known as the Whale Beast. These animals had massive pointy teeth, allowing them to easily eat dolphins, whales, and sharks. Here's a size comparison I made showing how big a Cetotherium is compared with a human and a Megalodon shark. It's believed Cetotheriums could have beat a Megalodon in a fight. This is a Leviathan. Leviathans are one of the biggest animals to ever exist. Leviathan were 50 feet long and weighed 50 tons. In 2008, a Leviathan skeleton was found off the coast of Peru. This is a Nothosaurus. They were gigantic underwater crocodiles. They were known for their very long necks and sharp teeth. They would use their tail and webbed hands to swim very fast, meaning that almost nothing could escape this animal. This plant eats animals. This is the tropical pitcher plant. It's also known as the monkey cup. That's because monkeys sometimes drink the water these plants collect. And sometimes, small monkeys are even eaten by this plant. It also eats small vertebrates and reptiles. For example, mice and snakes. Inside the plant are two things, a sweet nectar and a slippery wax. The sweet nectar attracts animals to the plant, and the wax coating slides them in. The cobra lily is another plant that eats animals. Insects go into these plants but are then trapped. The leaves are transparent, meaning the insect gets very confused. The plant can then fill up with water, drowning the insect. The Portuguese sundew is another plant that eats animals. Portuguese sundews have a sweet, sticky dew that attracts insects. The insects then get stuck on these, and over time the sundew's leaves will curl inwards. Animals who got very unlucky with evolution. Babarusas are similar to pigs, but they have four horns. The only downside to these horns is they never stop growing. This means they grow into the Babarusa's head and brain. This can cause a Babarusa's life to end. Turtles have a major design flaw. If they roll onto their backs, they often can't roll back over. This is especially true with turtles that have flat shells. If a turtle gets stuck on its back, it can be cooked by the sun, or worse, eaten by other animals. Argolis are rams with massive horns, but the corkscrew shape of their horns is a big design flaw. That's because they spiral around and grow back into the animal. Bees can only sting you one time. Bees are very badly designed because their stinger never leaves their bodies. Instead, the bee has to remove it with force. 